When variable factors have more than one base, be careful to combine only those powers with the same base. For example, a to the fifth times a to the negative two power equals a to the third. You can combine these powers because they have the same base, a. x to the third power times y to the fourth power simply equals x to the third times y to the fourth. You cannot combine the powers because they have different bases, x and y. Problem two, multiplying powers in algebraic expressions. What is the simplified form of each expression? Part a, 4z to the fifth power times 9z to the negative 12th power. We can multiply the coefficients first, four times nine, and get 36. And then we can multiply the z to the fifth times z to the negative 12th and find this equals 36 times z to the negative seventh power. Now, as we know, we need to rewrite this using a positive exponent. So this is going to equal 36 over z to the seventh power. Part b, 2a times 9b to the fourth times 3a squared. Again, it's probably simplest if we multiply our coefficients first, 2 times 9 times 3. Then we multiply our powers of a, a times a squared, then finally times b to the fourth. Combining these, 2 times 9 times 3 is 54. a to the first times a squared will equal a to the third power. And b to the fourth just remains b to the fourth throughout the problem. So in the end, we have a simplified version, 54 a cubed b to the fourth power. Your turn. Part A, what is the simplified form of the expression 5x to the fourth times x to the ninth times 3x? Part B, how about the expression negative 4c cubed times 7d squared times 2c to the negative 2 power? C, the expression j squared times k to the negative 2 power times 12j. And finally, part D, a reasoning item, explain how to simplify the expression x to the a times x to the b times x to the c. Part 